All right. Hi, everyone. Um, so I am a Kieran O'Neill. I'm a postdoc, and I mostly do kind of cancer research. Um, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, trying to build a um, well, I, I work in single cell epigenomics right now and trying to build a template workflow that other people can use um, based on CWL um, to be able to create their own reproducible um, workflows. So I guess you've heard quite a lot today about reproducible research. I think there's a session later on today. Um, but in order for, reprodu for our bioinformatics analysis to be completely reproducible, we need to have the exact data, the exact code, and the exact software that was used. Um, we've kind of got data down with um, big repositories. Um, everyone shares their data now when they publish a paper. Um, code and software is more of a problem. Um, and as we've heard a lot today, um, CWL and um, Docker provide kind of solutions to this problem. So CWL lets you specify exact workflows that you can then share with people and create a snapshot of to go with your paper. Um, Docker lets you create containerize the environment so that it's completely deployable and reproducible. Um, but so far, nobody's really done this within um, single cell whole genome bisulfide seq, which is what I work in, um, which is really kind of exciting, where we can do DNA methylation um, genome-wide in single cells. Um, and there are kind of about half a dozen papers published so far, a bunch of public data sets. Um, that's kind of really this side of the, the arm here. Um, and a bunch of people are using fairly standard kind of similar analyses that they're performing, but nobody's produce, publishing their code. Nobody's kind of making it reproducible in any way. Um, so my goal with Screw, in fact, was uh, I took it to a hackathon at the NCBI a few months ago and started to build this template workflow. So just to give you another overview of what bisulfide seq data looks like, it's very sparse. Um, this is kind of 100 libraries on the left, um, and only a handful of them even have any coverage at all. Each of the little blocks here is a CPG site. Um, and another kind of challenge is that nobody has a standard format for this because BED doesn't quite work and neither does WIG. And so everybody uses their own BED-like homebrew formats. Um, so one of the, the things that I'm doing, we've done in Screw is to actually create an interconverter that will convert from other people's formats. So here I'm just showing, these are even two, two different papers from the same author, um, three years apart with completely different formats. Um, we convert everything into an internal format so that all the rest of the pipeline can work with it. Um, and another standard thing that people are trying to do is um, clustering. So we generate a distance matrix by taking pairwise distances between cells because there's obviously not much overlap. Um, and I'll put this kind of heat map as part of the pipeline. Pretty much every single single cell genome methylation paper has got a heat map of some kind. This comes out of a paper, Phalic 2016 from last year. Um, we also, now that we've got the distance matrix, can do TS and E plots, which are at the last single cell conference I was at seems to be the next big thing. And if you don't have a TSNE plot in your single cell paper, it's, you're just not in. So that will also be quite easy to add as a next step. Um, so right now where we're at is we just have some kind of basic functionality implemented. Um, we've got a big map if you go onto the GitHub of what's planned in the future. Um, we also have one example data set um, downloaded that with the pipeline kind of implemented on that. Um, and we're running into a whole lot of new issues and things to throw at the CWL development team, um, like how you go from a whole directory full of files that you need to do some pre-processing on into something like a heat map where you have to munge them all together and making that flow through CWL seems to not be all that easy yet, but it, there's actually an issue for it. Um, anyway, and the end goal is to actually take the half dozen or so data sets that exist, run them through the template workflow and do a meta-analysis and publish a nice paper on that. So just acknowledgments that this happened at a NCBI hackathon organized by Ben Busby, who organizes great, fantastic hackathons. This is my team, um, and I've since had a really excellent summer student working on it, um, Chelsea Fung. And if you want to check it out, it's on GitHub um, at Epigenomic Screw. Also, the, the slides, my poster, the abstract, et cetera, all up on GitHub. And it's poster A153, which I think is tonight, not Sunday, because the odds are tonight. But I'm, might be getting confused. So, thank you.